Good morning, class. Our Christ Light lesson for t- this week is entitled The Birth of Jesus. Remember, on the day one of Christ Light, you don't need your lesson. You can just enjoy uh, listening to me. And then tomorrow is the day that you'll need your sheet out of your binder um, to read along with me. So I'm just going to tell you the lesson. We're going to start with a little bit of review. But first of all, the title of our lesson today is The Birth of Jesus. Last week, remember, we said, hey, we got this angel Gabriel who came to Mary and said, you're going to have a child. Nothing's impossible with God. And so Mary trusted and believed. We also had last week that, that Zechariah and Elizabeth had their son, John. And remember what John's job's going to be. John's the guy who's going to go ahead of Jesus and say, hey, look, the Savior's coming. Repent of your sins. Prepare your hearts for the Savior. In our second lesson last week, we had John being born. And in that lesson, remember, Zechariah had his mouth closed because he doubted God. And then when he wrote on a tablet, his name is John, that's when he could speak again. And remember what he did. The first thing is he praised God for one, his son John, who was going to be great, prophet of God. And then he also praised God that the Savior was coming. Well, today we're going to have the birth of our Savior. Now, if you listen carefully to this lesson a lot of these uh parts of this lesson will be ones that you usually tell to your parents at the christmas eve service this is the christmas eve service if you're looking for it in your bibles and you want to read in your bibles it comes from luke 2 and it's verses 1 through 20. mary and joseph are our key characters today mary and joseph are not married yet remember at this time mary was still a virgin Joseph had said, will you be my wife? And Mary had said, yes, but they weren't married yet. Remember, Mary was going to have this baby. It was going to be true human being born of Mary and true God born of the Holy Spirit. Well, Mary and Joseph were both descendants of the great King David so that all the prophecies of the Old Testament. Well, at this time, there was a, a Roman leader named Caesar Augustus. And remember, the Romans had captured all of Palestine and take them as their captives. And so what this means is they would have to pay taxes to the Romans. And the Romans wanted to make sure they were getting tax money from everybody. So what they said is, all of you people, we want to count you. We want to count you so we can tax you. And here's how we want you to do it. We want you to go to the hometown, the place where your ancestors were from, and we'll count you, then we're going to tax you. And so Mary and Joseph, obeying the law, had to leave Galilee where they lived and go to Bethlehem. You see, King David was born in Bethlehem, and then since they were from the line of David, they had to travel to Bethlehem. Now, could you imagine being Mary nine months pregnant and having to travel 70 miles? Now, 70 miles, we're thinking that's no big deal. 70 miles, that's like from here to Madison. If you've ever been to Madison, you know you can get there in about an hour, hour and 10 minutes in a car. But there were no cars in this day. So Mary and Joseph either walked or maybe if they were wealthy, rode a donkey. Now picture yourself seven months, uh, nine months pregnant, traveling 70 miles on a donkey. Ugh. One summer I rode a horse for about an hour and I couldn't walk normal the whole day. Now here's Mary and pregnant riding this donkey. So this was a tough trip and it would have taken them many days. Well, when they finally got to Bethlehem, there was no more room. You see, King David had a lot of ancestors. Uh, Sorry, a lot of relatives. And so the town was full. And so they found actually a stable. A stable is a fancy word for barn. They're going to actually stay in a barn. And, well, while they were staying there in the barn, the time came for the baby to be born, and Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. Sounds like the Christmas story, right? She gave birth to a son. His name was Jesus. And she wrapped him in strips of cloth and she laid him in a manger. That's a fancy word for a feed trough where the animals would come and eat all the food. Well, they they got the food out of there and they laid this baby. Nowadays, we'd put diapers on the baby and we'd wrap him real tight up with a blanket because they'd just spent nine months inside a mile and it was really tight in there and that felt safe. And so Mary would have wrapped this baby with different strips of cloth to make it nice and warm and to feel all safe. And then she would have laid it like we would lay babies in a crib or a bassinet and we would lay it in a manger well at this time there were shepherds watching their flocks out in the fields 
We nowadays have big, huge barns and we have big, huge fences to keep the wild animals away from ours. In those days, a sheep would be out in the open and wild animals would love to taste, eat tasty little sheep. So the shepherds watched these sheep at night because a lot of animals that would eat sheep would prey on them at night. Well, the shepherds are there and all of a sudden a bright light appears in the sky and it's an angel. And of course, the shepherds are deathly afraid, but the angel says, don't be afraid. Okay, that's kind of like a huge thunderstorm, and the kid wakes up, and he's all crying, and you tell him not to be afraid, but it is kind of scary. So here's this angel. The shepherds have probably never seen an angel before, and he says, don't be afraid. I have good news of great joy. They'll be for you and for all people today in the town of Bethlehem. The Savior has been born. And then, as he's telling them about the Savior, a whole host. Now, a host means a group. So a large group of angels appear, and it's like the angel choir, and they're singing this awesome song. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men on whom his favor reaps. Glory to God. We're giving praise to God for sending his son Jesus to be our Savior. And then, boom, as fast as they appeared, they're gone. Back in heaven, well, the shepherds are all looking at each other, probably like, what just happened to us? And then they said, let's go check this out. Now, this would have been really super strange for them to do. Shepherds, don't leave the sheep. They'll wander off. They'll get eaten. They'll fall down. They'll get hurt. But this was so important. He said, we're going to leave our sheep. And they did. They went to Bethlehem, and they searched, and they searched, and they searched, and they searched. Now, when you went to Bethlehem searching for somebody, would you look in a barn? No. So this would have taken them some time. They can't find the baby. They can't find the baby. And finally, they find the baby. And sure enough, just like the angel said, wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger, they find this baby. It's pretty cool what they did. They went and looked up for him. They found him. And then when they found him, they worshipped him. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to worship any little babies. Except for this is Jesus, the angel told him, the Savior of the world. Here they worship this little itsy bitsy baby. And then, better yet, they don't keep this good news to themselves. Now, maybe you've had a uh, younger brother or sister born. You would know this. Or maybe you had a family member who had a baby. What do we do when a baby is born? Well, we take pictures and we text them and send them and Facebook them to everybody. We want to tell everybody how exciting this is. Well, in those days, the shepherds did the same thing. In the middle of the night, they're leaving town and they're making loud noises, telling everybody, the Savior's been born. The Savior. Everybody they came across, everybody they met, they told the good news. When they got back out into the country, they did one more thing. They praised God. Thank you, God, for sending us our Savior. They praised God. Well, if you were the mother of this baby and you had all these strangers come in and worship your baby, you'd probably remember that. And the Bible says Mary treasured up all these, heart, all these things and kept them in her heart, which means she remembered and took note of this. Boy, the angel Gabriel said it's going to be a special baby, and it already is turning out to be a very special baby. Christ Light Lesson 2A.